Welcome to this demonstration of the big screen game from Totally Easy's Big Screen Bingo. So first of all, you get this splash screen. Um, a splash screen is something that you display while you're selling your tickets. There's an introduction screen. Um, as you can see here, it tells you a bit about the program. You can pause this at any time to read it. Um, for the demonstration purposes of the video, I have to flick through it because I don't get very long to make a video that I can upload to the website. Um, instructions, very simple, one page, uh, it's easy to learn. You start off with um, selling bingo tickets. Um, here you have a business card, this is made out to us. You just press this and it prints on your thermal printer your, uh, your business card as people ask for it. You can edit any of this just clicking into here. Um, will allow you to, uh, and right mouse click here, will allow you to uh, copy or, or whatever. Um, take this out, change your picture, whatever you want to do um, to make your own. Now, um, over here you have the uh, game entry tickets. So if you're playing stand up bingo, you uh, want to sell tickets to people. You can sell anything up to 300 or more tickets. Um, you press this just to reset the whole thing. Um, what we do to start with is you print a ticket um, and you'll see that the ticket changes to the next number um, and you get a serial number on it plus you get the number 2 and the word 2 um, our logo on the bottom again right mouse click you can change that logo to your own um, and the more the tickets printed here um, more people are playing the game so let's just keep going for a little while and we just say that we sell uh, I don't know um, let's pretend for argument's sake that we sold um, Five hundred, uh, um, I don't know, um, three hundred, no, two hundred and seventy tickets to people. Okay, so now when we go through the game, you'll see the display here. It shows in the bottom now. This is on the big screen, remember, so that people see this big screen games by Total Easy Systems. You press this to put in the amount and the number. Two seventy there is the number that you sold tickets. The amount of tickets that you sold. So what you want to do is put that now into the system. The total number of players is 270. You press that, and as soon as your little man starts, there you are, you're away to go. Now when you press this, it will draw at random once the, any one number between 1 and 270, not to repeat, be repeated. Now, if I press that, you'll see that 197 is your first number drawn. 197. Now up here, you have numbers drawn, which is one. One number has been drawn so far. Down here will be the last number drawn. So when you go next to draw another number, you will now see that you have two numbers that have been drawn. And down here, the last number before this 175 was 197. In case anybody's a bit slow, they can look up and see what the last number drawn was. And you carry on playing. And you just keep playing and playing 115. Number four, two, 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 three little ducks, <coughs> and one, seven, two, seventeen little ducks, <coughs> one, seven, two, and so on. But I don't know. I mean, I know a little bit of the slang from from days gone by, but uh, I don't know it all. And just in case, um, if you look at the last sheet on here, you've got the bingo number slang. Now all the the obvious ones are done. Um, one to nine here, down there, clickety click, sixty six and uh, eighty seven, talking in Devon and so on and so on and blind 90 top of the shop or nearly there 89 and so on um, and if you look over here we've put a few in already and they're down here they go up to 300 end of the line is 300 um, 197 I really should be in heaven and at that age you should be I think <laughs> if you're not you're somewhere else 180 and so on but then this is open for you to add that's why um, you'll see some of them have been added by us some as we think of them 103 is a Royal Enfield do you remember the old 103 rifle I don't know maybe you're a bit young for that or maybe you're a female and you're just not interested in guns and things but uh, 203 heaven's looking for me well, I should think so if you're 203 and you're still alive I should think they've been long gone at St. St. Peter at the gate looking for you and so on but anyway what you do here is you just double click in there and then you um you can add your own so as you make it up you you can add your own into there um, and pass them on to us because we'd love to uh, we'd love to be able to get some more and fill this in but that explains all that when you get the game so it leads us now for the, the 
the bingo here has been called 270 let's put another two numbers on so we got seven and eight and let's say we were playing for first line somebody shouts house or bingo or shed depends where they live caravan now it's uh, it's on 250 they've called so when you look at the check card you'll see that red 250 is in red which is the last number called so it's easy to check and then you can work back from there last number called 250 250 correct and then you go 222 124 172 and they call it a check off the numbers but as it goes on all these numbers are filled in automatically now here's the nice bit about this game is the fact that you can print your own cards off and we all know how much bingo cards and bingo books are very expensive this one here is simple you just press here and straight away on your thermal printer it will print out a ticket which is basically the size of the ticket that's on the screen so all you would do is at the moment because I'm making a video it's very slow but they print out in, in under three seconds a ticket so as people come up and they buy a ticket off your free I don't know 50p a, a card or or a pound of card or a euro whatever the denomination is you just uh, take their money and press it and you'll see each time a unique set of numbers never to be repeated is drawn so you're only going to get one winner um, on a full house maybe you very very rarely going to get two it's just the fact that they've got a sheet with the same numbers but in different places maybe so um, and as you see here they get their own serial number here so when you press it you'll see here that the serial number will change to three now so each ticket has its own serial number uh, it says here press uh, to reset the ticket serial numbers so if you wanted to press this at the end as I say it's very slow at the moment because uh, I'm recording and the, the program I used to record uses an awful lot of memory on this old laptop but uh, they do print very very quickly and that's it so to reset that you would just press that and you'll see reset to zero here um, and that basically is it. So it prints out your own bingo cards. It uh, keeps a check on the game as it's going, um, and so on and so on. Now you can play stand-up bingo as we just did um, with this game. But if you're playing 90 ball bingo, you uh, you would just put 90 in here for the 90 ball bingo. Sorry, you would put it in in, in the tickets, not there, because then you only want 90 balls to be drawn out. If you see what I mean, it doesn't matter how many players you have. You would only want 90 balls so you put 90 in there and when you go back to the display you've now got 90 so you're going to play a game of 90 balls the Americans play it with 75 balls so they would just put 75 in the tickets sold it's not tickets because they would have sold business, uh, playing cards here um, for people to play the bingo and you could sell 10 or 15 or 20 or 100 of those or 500 of those it doesn't matter because at the end of the day you're only going to be playing um, a 90 ball game of bingo down the bottom here so when I press that it puts the 90 into the system and it puts zero so the first number drawn on the 90 ball game is 90 top of the shop line 90 well that's most unusual isn't it but there you go I mean that's very good so one ball drawn 90 will now go into here if you look to the check card it shows 90 being in red because it was the last card called and so on I think you've got the gist of the game and that basically ladies and gentlemen is what it is it's a terrific big screen game very very visual this screen here when it shows through a projector can be anything up to 10 foot square or more um, if you get a good projector you can buy them second hand now from uh, ebay i bought my the last one i'm using at the moment for my race nights and, and i use from a bingo and all these games um, was 68 pounds i think it was a terrific uh, projector um, very good make and, and does the job um, and, and that's it basically so uh, I hope you um, get the idea of it and, uh, and enjoy the game uh, thank you for watching